Let's have a look at the highlights of race 25 of 2013 at the Winton 360. Jamie Wink up on pole for a record 11th time, but the Norton Nissans of Caruso and James Moffat were running at the front. The championship leader led in the early stages. The Red Bull Commodore looking strong. Caruso and Moffat leading the chase. Mark Dutton, the engineer of Cunnamar 1, watching on until this. Massive driveline failure for the number one Commodore. The championship leader retiring from the 60-60 Super Sprint race and walking back to pit lane to tell team boss Roland Dane what had gone wrong. In the middle of the pack, it was raging. Rick Kelly and Alex Davison in something of a bumping match in this first half of the unique two-half race format. He and Scott Pye getting together in the mid-pack. It was really tight at the nation's action track, the three-kilometre bull ring, turning on plenty of great racing in the V8 supercars. Wink up could only watch as the Nissans of Caruso and Moffat finished the first half 1-2. That led to a 15-minute half-time break. Mark Winterbottom running out of fuel, pushed home by teammate Will Davison. On the restart, another 20 laps to go, double file, and down at turn one, Moffat was able to take advantage and swing around to the lead. Wink up unable to do anything, watching on as his championship lead started to tumble. Russell Ingle trying to get by Garth Tander. He did for about two seconds before Tander slipped on through in the Holden Racing Team. Commodore Fabian Coulthard on home test track soil for the Lockwood team. Threw on Shane Van Gisbergen, who faded back to 13th position. Tander and Alberto pushing hard. Ingle down the inside. The Walkinshaw cars all among it. Then this, with just laps to go, James Moffat on target for his debut win. Nearly made a meal of it at turn 10. He managed to hang on and get the Norton Nissan rolling again, but Caruso zeroed in, but he wouldn't be able to get there. James Moffat became the 11th different race winner of 2013 and a first-time winner in the V8 Supercars Championship some 29 years since his father, Alan, last won in 1984.